I heavily debated coming to court today to speak for a few reasons. I feel betrayed by our justice system. I've put myself in a very vulnerable position by coming in and sharing about my pain, which I'm very private about, and telling everybody how much I've suffered, which I tried to put aside to honor Elena's memory, and I feel it ended up accomplishing nothing here. My main reason, though, for not wanting to speak was that I didn't want to give you the opportunity to enjoy more of our family suffering, which you've admitted that you wanted to see. This entire ordeal has pushed me to my emotional, physical, and mental limits. It will continue to do so for the rest of my life, even more so now that he has escaped being punished to the fullest extent of the law as I believe he should have been, knowing he gets to live out the rest of his natural life, something Elena doesn't get to do because of his disgusting and violent actions on February 14th, 2018. He has escaped this punishment because a minority of the jury was given the power to overturn the majority decision made by people who were able to see him for what he is a remorseless monster who deserves no mercy. He has admitted to knowing that what he did, to knowing what he did and described it in horrific detail. A person has to be incredibly sick to want to hurt another human being even sicker to dwell on the desire and craft a plan and unimaginably able to execute that plan, which didn't just hurt people, but ended lives. To add insult to murder, he was even arrogant enough to plan a disguise, believing that he would be able to escape his actions as my sister lay dying on a classroom floor.